In a surprising move, Maxon, the current developers of ZBrush, announced that they are gonna change ZBrush's interface to make it more friendly. Lots of people were excited. On the other hand, not everyone is ready to throw out the old ways. Some veteran ZBrush users are a bit nervous about relearning things that they have done over the years, so it is kind of a mixed reaction. The developers of Maxon know that ZBrush's UI quirks have a loyal following, and that change can be intimidating due to all the muscle memory involved. So how will they change the interface and when? And what about ZBrush professionals who use it on a daily basis? So stick around to see the answers of these questions. So one hot topic in ZBrush Summit that was had recently was that ZBrush is finally getting a user interface overhaul after all these years. And let's be real, ZBrush's interface has always been unique. Some might say quirky or even frustrating. In fact, mastering ZBrush's non-standard UI has long been the rite of passage for new users. The development team acknowledges that changing such an iconic yet not so likable interface is kind of a huge deal. As you know, seasoned artists have serious muscle memory built up, and the developers know that too. However, they are saying that the redesign became unavoidable when they launched ZBrush on the iPad. The iPad version forced them to rethink and simplify workflows for the touchscreen, essentially proving they could streamline ZBrush. And this experience set the stage for bringing those improvements back to the desktop. So as you can see, the UI overhaul is kind of driven by a mix of user feedback and the need to modernize and lessons learned from making ZBrush more accessible on the tablet. So what exactly is new in the upcoming UI? From the summit sneak peek, it sounds like ZBrush is adopting some of the best ideas from its iPad app. First of all, they are introducing the concept of modes. So with a quick toggle, you can switch between different sculpt modes or brush shots instead of hunting through menus. The interface is also becoming contextual, meaning it will smartly show the tools you need for the task at hand while hiding the rest, cleaning up that notorious clutter. Another big change is enhanced customization. You'll be able to tear off pilots in addition to panels and dock them whatever you want, or even let them float freely over your workspace. Essentially, you can build your own workspace that suits your style. And for those worried about losing the familiar old layout, don't panic, because the developers confirmed that you can toggle back to the classic UI if you prefer that, at least for the foreseeable future. Actually, this is the first thing that came to my mind, because if I am a professional using ZBrush on a daily basis, taking away this interface for good will piss me off, at least at first. So this choice is gonna be the best for both worlds. New options with the safety net of the old interface, just when you need it. And a contextual UI means less time digging through panels and more time actually sculpting. The software will surface the right tools when you need them, so you're not gonna be overwhelmed by every option at once. I don't know how they will do that, but the new mode switching should speed up the common tasks, since swapping brushes and toolset kind of becomes a one-click action. The added customization is actually a game changer for the workflow. You can set up ZBrush just the way you like it, organizing tools and menus to fit your personal process, because everyone has a preference, as you know. Also, because the desktop UI is being aligned with iPad version, hopping between your desktop and the iPad should feel almost comfortable, especially when they apply the UI change. Now, the big question. When do we get to play with this new UI? The Summit presenters didn't give an exact date, but they hinted that it won't happen right away. This is a major overhaul, so they are taking their time to get it right, which is a good thing. The way I see it is that professionals don't care about how long it takes because they are already comfortable with the current ZBrush UI. They will likely drop the UI in 2026. I mean, this UI revamp will probably come after some features come out, including a dedicated UV editor and the new edit topology tools. In fact, the word is the new interface might not land for quite a while, possibly until 2027 or later. So the point is, they clearly don't want to rush it, which is again a good thing. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to 
to see more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.